Hey beauty, let's talk about hair removal. I have a lot of experience with this, both DIY and professional, and I've come to the conclusion that IPL is awesome. We're gonna break it all down and review and compare to see which of these brand new IPL device launches are the best. This video includes a giveaway and full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Ulike. We're going to look from a practical lens and go over the power specs of both of these devices to get a real look at what is the best for your money. First, let's look at what is IPL and contrast it and compare it to other forms of hair removal. IPL stands for intense pulse light, flashes of light. And these flashes of light from the device that you're using target the melanin in your hair follicle. The light addresses the whole entire follicle of the hair, which is different from other types of hair removal. And as you progress in your treatments, the hair is broken up and you're left hair free. But there is the condition that not everybody is going to be a candidate. In fact, things like peach fuzz, where the hair has no pigment, it's not going to be treatable with IPL. If you have deep pigment in your hair and light skin or medium skin with dark hair, that's going to work great. This chart is good for reference. If you are a candidate for IPL treatments, it's much better than other types of hair removal. I started with shaving. That was the first thing that I did. Tell me if that was you too. And with shaving, there's a lot of benefits or a few really. It's painless and you can do it at home. It's very quick and it's easy, but there is hair underneath the follicle, even when you shave it fresh. So if you have dark hair, being that you're a candidate for IPL, but you shave instead, you often are left like me with strawberry legs. And that's because the dark hair is sitting right underneath the skin, even though you just shaved. And I don't like that. If you can manage the pain, you can wax at home. So it's quick and easy to do at home, which is great. But what I don't like is that you have to manage your life around it a little bit. You have to let the hair grow out for a long time before it's long enough that it can be waxed off. Next is laser. This is something I spent quite a bit on because I thought it was going to finally solve the issue for good, but it isn't quick or easy to do at home. You do have to go to book appointments at a salon for this. And it's cool because it lasts a long time, but it isn't permanent. It looks like it's permanent because the light targets the hair and your pores shrink. It, it's pretty great. It is a little irritating, but you do get great results for some time. But the key here is it's for some time. And for whatever reason, whether it's hormonal changes, this is my arms. Since I've been IPLing like every other part of my body, my arms were the one place that I still hadn't started addressing after laser. And you can see here. I have a lot of regrowth. My hair is actually less thick than it used to be after laser, but less than five years later, it all came back. So with IPL, we now have an opportunity to check all of the boxes and remove hair permanently with one lifetime purchase. So you save a lot of money and you're able to treat yourself and maintain your results at home easily. Before you do your treatment, it's important to shave the area that you're treating. I'm doing the back of my neck because I have like hairs going down. Well, I used to. Now I'm almost done. So I'm kind of in maintenance mode. And it's important because if you don't trim the hair, it will sizzle up from the heat. So it's nice with IPL. You don't have to let your hair grow out in order to do your treatment. In fact, while you're waiting for your results to be permanent, you are actually going to walk around with hair-free skin because you shave it in order to do your treatment. So I like this about IPL quite a bit. Now let's take a look at these devices. We'll start with Kenzie. This is the box that it comes in and it's wrapped. This device retails for 354 US dollars. These devices are an investment for your hair removal journey, so I encourage you to do your research and use this video as part of your research tools. I'm going to take out everything from the box and we will inspect and look at what comes inside. Everything comes in these little baggies and you get a power cord, the device itself, of course, as well as some little attachments. These are for skin rejuvenation and acne. 
when it comes to the wavelength, the nanometers of these IPL devices will have a skin rejuvenating effect regardless of the treatment head. So that's a cool side effect of IPL in general. This device is really lightweight and it's little. I like the black and gold. It's very pretty to look at. The power cord is simple. Now this we're going to find out about later. This power cord is very um, small and simple and this device doesn't have as much power as the other one. We'll go over that in a second, but let's see what else we get. We have these attachment heads and then this little instruction card. I have to say upon opening this device with the price point and the nature of seriousness of doing an IPL treatment at home, this does feel neglectful because it does lack a formal instruction guide as well as the important factor of eye protection. You absolutely should not do IPL treatments on yourself or on anyone without eye protection. So this is missing from here and you will have to provide yourself eye protection so that you don't get hurt. Now let's open the You Like box. This brand gets a lot of love and you can experience the love that they put into their device even before you open up the box. It's really wrapped up beautifully. Let's take a look at what's inside. With everything that you approach in this box, you can tell that the user experience is thoroughly double checked and triple checked. You get the feeling and the sense that in every part of what they're doing, they're understanding you at home doing your treatment. And so all of the details are taken care of from the minute that you open up the box. This is the new Air 10 device to give you the best experience at home. I can attest to this. It is incredible. First, you get a power cord and then in the side compartment, there are supplies. Of course, the device itself is to remove your hair permanently. There's a great pair of eyewear for eye protection included as well as a little mini razor because you shave, of course, before your treatment, but sometimes you miss a hair. So it's good and easy to use as well as a dust bag and a really good guide. This box upon opening sets you up for success for great treatments that are comfortable. And I'm going to tell you about the features like the cooling technology that makes the actual treatment extremely comfortable and pain free. Now we've seen what both brands have to offer just on unboxing, but let's look at the specs of each device and do a comparison. The Kenzie device right away, I can tell is so much lighter. The Ulike device isn't necessarily heavy, but the Kenzie device almost feels hollow. And I think that this is because the Ulike device has almost double the power with 26 joules of energy output. And this Kenzie device can only give out 14 at a maximum. So starting off, we can conclude with the Ulike Air 10, you're gonna get better, faster results because it has a lot more power. It has fast mode, normal mode, and high mode, and now a brand new function on this Air 10 that you like has never had before, the highest power SHR mode. This is really good on stubborn hairs that don't seem to go away. This device protects your skin with a UV filter and a skin sensor that adjusts the power accordingly. Airflow and cooling is important because we're working with hot flashes. This little device, the Kenzie, does sometimes get covered with your hand, whereas this Ulike Air 10 has been designed ergonomically so that your hand never covers the airflow vent. One thing that stands out each time with Ulike, even on their previous model, is the cooling technology. But with this brand new Air 10 device, they have added dual lights, not just one set of lights, but two. So you get double the power with two sets of flashes. And because it's ice cold, you're totally comfortable while you're doing your treatments. It's really something. The Kenzie device simply doesn't have this. So the heat accumulates on your skin. If you use it too hot, you will get irritation and red and it just feels hot. The device is hot. There's, there's no cooling technology at all, but it does have an auto glide mode. So you can press the first button down and it'll just flash as you move it across your skin. The Ulike Air 10 also has auto glide, so you can use it without pressing the button down. Plus it's freezing cold, so you can remove your hair at home pain-free, 100%. The Ulike Air 10, without a doubt, gives me a luxurious experience when I'm using it and I just love it. 
I think it's always good to be aware of a return policy. And with you like, it's very clearly laid out on their website. It's simple, a 90 day money back guarantee. But the Kenzie brand and device has a different return policy. I thought it was unusual because there is a return criteria that you need to use the device and document photos of your body after treatment, including time and date stamps in order to be eligible to be approved to return your device with Kenzie. This is an unusual return policy and it's not entirely clear what exactly an eligible return claim looks like. In conclusion, I highly recommend the Ulike Air 10 without a doubt. The value of the results and just the user experience is incredible. It exceeds the money that you spend on the device. And if you'd like to enter to win one of these devices, Please leave your comment below and I will select a winner. Don't forget to use my discount code at checkout and I'll see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.